this. Uh, what do you think about this? The free agency is coming up in like three days. Mm -hmm. That is kind of mind blowing because we're so wrapped up in the draft and trade talk. But like, you know, the Oilers, they'll be nibbling around the edges. What would you think about a guy like Nick Benino as a Buke stat? Nope. Kinda, nope. You're nope. out on Benino? No. Can't skate. Doesn't bring enough. No, no, that, I, that, no. That's a good point. If I you know, have a guy like Derek Ryan in your bottom six, you probably don't want yeah, to get I, even I, slower. And Nick Benito is a great guy. Mm -hmm. um, his wife's from St. Albert, but um, I, I just think the foot speed at this stage of his career is not what Edmonton's looking for in their bottom six. Like all the other stuff he has, experience, playoff experience, really good guy in the room, everything like that. But for the style that Edmonton plays, I don't think he has the foot speed. Um, Taves to Edmonton. What about that? If he was a million bucks, he's got to decide to play. We haven't heard anything. Well, is on he that. healthy enough to play? Yeah. Right. Uh, like I know that obviously the advantage the orders have with Taves is that Duncan Keith raved about coming to Edmonton, right? Playing with McDavid yep. and dry all the facilities, everything you have there. You know, I, I think the orders, the orders aren't looked upon. Like they're looked upon very differently than they were for many years. All right. Since Ken Holland's come in, there's I think they're they're considered more of a professional organization in a lot of ways. They're not perfect. Let me make that clear. They're not perfect, right? Frank uh, has outlined uh, how small their staff is when it comes to management. That's something that probably could be addressed and should mm -hmm. be addressed. But for, from a player viewpoint, you know, you have McDavid and Dry Settle. You have two of the elite players in the game, yeah. right? Uh, Jonathan Taves would come here be a very specific role, but where's his health at, and and where's his Where's his mental health at? I think as much as his physical health, uh, but for a million bucks, I'd probably roll the dice on Taze for a million bucks. Yeah, I'd, I I, I, it'd be a low risk signing in my eyes.